First fact, if two figures are similar, then their perimeters are proportional to the scale factor. What does that mean? Well, it means that if I have two shapes and they are similar, so their angles match, and their sides are proportional, so I'll put a little tilde here saying, hey, these guys are similar. And that means the perimeter of the first one divided by the perimeter of the second one that's equal to side of the first one divided by a side of the second one. They'll have the same proportion. Okay, well that's great. So we can use that fact then to solve for missing perimeters. If you know the perimeter of one triangle and you know how they're related proportionally, then you can find the perimeter of the other triangle even if you don't know the other two sides. As long as you know at least one side, it's enough information. So that's a huge, very valuable piece of information. Now, this is actually not from the chapter, but it's going to show up later on. And I figure we're already talking about scale factor, so let's talk about it now. When you measure perimeter, you're just measuring one dimension, right? You're just measuring length. That's one dimension. Area, that's two dimensions that are being multiplied together, correct? So here's how I think of it. If you have two figures and they're proportional to each other because of their similarity, if you take two of their quantities and you multiply them together, then they're going to have a relationship such that it's going to be that scale factor again, but now it's that scale factor being multiplied twice. So that means your areas are equal or proportional to your scale factor being multiplied by itself or squared. That is a crazy thought. Here's how you write it. The area of my sh first shape divided by the area of my second shape. This is the same as dividing the corresponding side, side one divided by side two, and then squaring it. Now that fact, it's not going to make a whole lot of sense at this juncture for you. You're like, I need some more evidence of this, Mr. Duncan. This is just like a random fact right now. I get that. Okay, that's fine. Later on, this will come up again, and you're going to go, oh, I remember talking about that, and it kind of makes sense. Then now I've had a chance to let it process and let it sit with me. Okay, I think we can knock this one out. Let's go ahead and try using the perimeter idea and see if we can work this problem. So number four. Let's see if we can jump to that. That's on page 472. So, uh, Cecilia, would you read that for us? My page loads. Uh, page 472, number four. Okay, so we have two triangles. What are the links on one of the triangles? I'll just write them in quickly. WX is four. four. WX is four. So WXY. What's XY? No. Nothing we don't know. How about WY? We don't know? No. Okay, that was the easy one. What's the other triangle? I'll write right below it. Uh, NP is ten. ten. Is Does the NP correspond with the four? Uh-oh, you better make sure it does. Well, no. it doesn't. No, it corresponds with PQ, which is seven. Yeah. Oh, WX corresponds with PQ? Yeah, which is seven. Okay, so WX corresponds with PQ, that's seven. Okay, so and W, okay, and then the last link? QN is eight. QN is eight. Okay, so angle W corresponds with angle Q or angle P? What's angle W? Q? Okay. Just trying to get, and give me one more. X corresponds with which one? P. P? X corresponds with P? Yeah. Okay. Like that? No? Oh, excuse me. You guys can't see what I'm writing. So you have no idea what I've written. <laughs> silly, silly me. Here you are. Is this correct? Yeah or nay? 
it's, it's a big polygon? It's a four-sided? Yeah, four four yeah. Oh, no, we ran out of time. Oh, no. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Well, let's talk about it briefly. If you could find me the perimeter of this, figure out what the scale factor is here. Multiply that perimeter by the scale factor, and that will give you the perimeter of the second one. That's the big thing they're trying to get you to do here. Okay, so we're out of time. That is unfortunate. I was really hoping to knock this one out with you guys. All right, fine. Be gone. Have a great day.